Sketchbook is an easy-to-use sketching app from Siemens that helps you draw and trace accurately. It is designed specifically for use on tablets and smartphones. Notice that as I roughly sketch some circles, the app makes them real circles and also concentric to the outer circles and all the time being the same size. This design is symmetric about the midline, so I simply lasso to select what I want to mirror. And just like that, this piece is really taking shape. As a result of mirroring the geometry, I have a big arc running through the mirrored side, which I need to do something with. Removing sections of the arc is as easy as scribbling on the bits that I want to remove. Finally, I simply select the geometry I no longer want and throw it in the trash can. Now let's look at another idea I have, a tent mounted to a trailer. You can see here I've already taken a photo of my trailer with Microsoft Surface Pro, and now I'm sketching out my idea with the photo in the background and making it to scale. In this design, there'll be two angled poles hinged in the center. I've already created the large construction arc from the pivot point to define the length of my poles. I can even add angled dimensions to the poles so I can adjust them. Now, just add a few more connecting lines to finish off the basic shape of the tent. I also want to add a master suite bed and bathroom onto my house. I want to add another chair to watch TV. I already have one chair, so I just need to copy it. I'll quickly sketch out a couple of circles for my end tables. Now what if I decide I want to move the wall behind the bed and make the closet smaller? No problem at all. I can simply lasso what I want to move and drag it wherever I want. I might even decide to change the width of the entire room. So those are my ideas that I quickly sketched out using Catchbook. Solid Edge offers me a really quick way to take the 2D sketches from Catchbook and drop them into a 3D environment. Those sketches now become regions in 3D that I can begin to drag to transform it magically into a 3D part. How cool is that? I can continue to select regions and drag to finish modeling the part. Next, I can take this 3D model and send it to the best-in-class photorealistic rendering tool included with Solid Edge, KeyShot, to really get a feel for what it's going to look like with someone wearing it. Changing colors and materials is done by simply dragging from the library onto my part. Now let me switch focus to my other big idea, my utility trailer tent design. I have an assembly that I already started where I modeled my utility trailer to scale. I can take the sketch from Catchbook and paste it into my assembly. I really don't need the pivot point or the line representing the floor, so I can quickly fence select those items and delete them. After duplicating the sketch to the other side and connecting the corners, I can use the frame environment built into Solid Edge to build the tubular frame on the 3D sketch. Let's jump ahead to the final design. I use the sketches from Catchbook to model these red corner connectors at all of the corners at the correct angles to join the tent poles together. One of the great benefits of having the design in 3D is that I can use the Solid Edge simulation functionality to virtually test my part to make sure that the design and material I plan to use will hold up to the stress of the job. Solid Edge has built-in simulation software for designers like myself to test my design. Based on the results, I may have to modify the part. Prototyping a part by building a mold or machining is really expensive. Fortunately for me, I now live in the area of 3D printing. I can simply click a button and send the part directly to the Microsoft 3D Builder app. Beyond prototyping, creating a 2D manufacturing drawing of the model to actually build the final product is the next step. I simply threw down a view of the completed assembly and created the parts list and balloons with just a few clicks. On this sheet is the manufacturing drawing for the connector. I took the liberty of generating photorealistic images of the design in KeyShot as well. Back the trailer into the camping spot, pop up the frame and connect it together with the connections, add the canvas and bam, throw a couple sleeping bags in and my campsite is ready. Lastly, let's take a look at the master suite bedroom I was working on. Yet another benefit of going to Solid Edge and building the models from the Catchbook sketches is that I can virtually fly through my 3D design to get a real feel for what it's going to be like to walk around this room once it's built. Can you imagine the possibilities? 
So throw away those napkins after dinner and move on to the Catchbook app to let your imagination run wild with new ideas and innovations. Go and download this app from your app store. And when you're ready for the next step, turn to Solid Edge. In fact, you can try it for free today at www.siemens.com slash plm slash try dash solid dash edge. Solid Edge. Design better.